So the strategic plan really builds on the great work that has already been done to date. It really builds on 60 years of history as an education, training and applied research institution. The reason why we need to develop a new strategic plan is to really define what's going to make us successful as a polytechnic in five to six years. We want to be bold, we want to be ambitious, and we want to ensure that we are a nationally recognized, globally relevant, highly successful polytechnic for service to our students, our community, and our industry. So what we've been doing over the last year is really as a community listening and talking. Our strategic plan is going to be built around strategic drivers. Strategic drivers are going to be built on areas of focus that have really come forward as a result of the work that's been done to date. Over the last year, we've had a number of conversations around what is important to our institution and what is going to make our polytechnic successful as a unique polytechnic focused on Alberta's economic and social priorities. So these areas of focus are program mix and delivery, learner impact, research and creation, brand recognition, enhanced partnership, and employer of choice. And we want to build our strategic drivers, our objectives, our priority actions, and our targets in a way that really reflect those high-level six areas of focus. It's important that as an institution, we think big, and our strategic drivers are intended to be bold, statements that will really position us as a nationally recognized polytechnic. And so when you see targets like in increasing enrollment by 50%, increasing investment by 200 million, those are goals and ambitions and targets that I think we can achieve over the next five to six years as we think big as a nationally focused and globally recognized polytechnic. So over the next couple of months, as members of the RDP community, you're gonna have the opportunity to provide feedback into the strategic plan. More information will be provided on the loop, there'll be a survey, and there'll also be in-person opportunities to engage and provide feedback.